wikihow lot 18 https colon double forward slash www.wikihow.com forward slash get dash a dash model dash body https colon double forward slash www.wikihow.com forward slash be dash a dash hygienic dash teenage dash girl https colon double forward slash www.wikihow.com forward slash get dash a dash more dash curvy dash appearance dash left parenthesis skinny dash girls https colon double forward slash www.wikihow.com forward slash keep dash yourself dash from dash getting dash scared dash while dash home dash alone https colon double forward slash www.wikihow.com forward slash talk dash to dash a dash girl dash in dash class https colon double forward slash www.wikihow.com forward slash have dash fun dash alone dash in dash your dash bedroom dash left parenthesis girls dash only how to get a model body download article Parts 1. Health Routine 2. Adjusting Your Diet Other Sections Expert Q&A Video Related Articles References Co-authored by Tiffany Stafford, Captain and Amber Crane Last Updated, 10 June, 2024 References Looking to Get a Model Body that's amazing. There are a ton of different looks that models can go for, and so many different kinds of model bodies. So you're in luck. However you look, modeling isn't just about fitness, it's also about confidence, lifestyle, and health. For everything you need to know, read on. Part 1. Health Routine Download article 1. Create a plan that includes exercising 5 days per week. Fitness is crucial for models. So you can expect your exercise regime to be pretty intense. Working out 5 days per week is typical for models, although some days will be harder than others, depending on what exercises and muscle groups you will be working. It's important to take those two off. Days to rest your muscles and prevent injury. It's not unusual for some models to take things up a notch a few weeks. Before a big show and work out six to seven times a week. Lingerie forward slash swimsuit. Models might even work out twice a day in the weeks leading up to a show. 1. If this schedule seems too rigorous at your current fitness level, it's completely fine to work your way up to training five days a week at your own pace. Start with goals that you can achieve. 2. 2. Do 30 to 60 minutes of cardio 2 to 3 days per week. You can adjust the amount of cardio you do depending on your goals but two to three days a week is pretty standard. Cardio includes any exercises that get your heart pumping, like running, kickboxing, elliptical training, cycling, spinning, and swimming. 3. This is a great cardio goal for anyone who wants to get physically fit. 3. Focus on weight and resistance training two to three days per week. Plan on strength training for 45 minutes to an hour per session. It's usually best to isolate certain muscle groups and alternate which ones you focus on throughout the week. For example, you might focus on lower body training one day, arms forward slash upper body training on another day, and train your core on a separate day. 4. Do lunges squats, and calf raises to tone your legs and glutes. Bicep curls, bench presses, planks, and other arm-specific exercises are 
great for toning arm muscles. Use lighter weights and focus more on reps to build lean muscle rather than bulk. 5. Try core strengthening exercises like sit-ups, crunches, and side bends to chisel your abs. 6. 4. Incorporate ballet, yoga, or pilates to chisel specific muscle groups. These exercises are great for improving flexibility and gaining long, lean muscle. You can add these on top of cardio and weight training, or you can replace one of your weekly cardio sessions with them. Regular yoga sessions can improve your overall athletic performance and protect your muscles from injury. 7. 5. Hire a trainer if you need more guidance or motivational support. Many models. Work with a personal trainer to reach their fitness goals. A trainer will tell you exactly what exercises to do and how long to do them, which many people find extremely helpful. During intense training sessions, trainers are also great motivators. They will cheer you on and help you stay on track. 8. Personal trainers will usually be able to give you diet tips, as well. If a personal trainer is outside your budget, consider exercising with a friend who will hold you accountable each day. 9. 6. Be patient with yourself as you work your plan. Change doesn't happen overnight. Unrealistic expectations will only make you frustrated and may even demotivate you. Stick to your workout plan for several months before judging whether or not it's working. Also, don't beat yourself up about your current fitness level. You're embarking on an intense routine and it's going to be challenging no matter what shape you're in. 10. Overall, aim for consistency to reach your fitness goals. 7. Decide what kind of model you want to be so you can tailor your routine. Getting into great shape is a must no matter what kind of model you want to be, but you should tweak your exercise plan to reflect the specific kind of work you want to do. For example, Fashion models that walk the runway have lean bodies with toned but not overly large muscles. Swimsuit and lingerie models, like Victoria's Secret models, need to be lean, toned, and curvy to show off the merchandise. 11. If you want to be a swimsuit or lingerie model, you will need to incorporate more strength training into your routine. Workouts should Include specific exercises to work key areas like the bust, waist, and hips. For runway models, cardio is the most important aspect, with light strength training. You want to be lean without gaining a lot of visible muscle. For male models, muscle building and strength training are important but you still want to maintain a lean body without a huge amount of muscle mass. Part 2. Adjusting your diet. Download article. 1. Talk to your doctor about healthy weight and diet goals. Weight is a personal subject. That can be hard to discuss with others. However, before embarking on a strict diet, it's a Good idea to make an appointment with your doctor. Get a routine checkup and discuss healthy diet goals in an open and honest way. If your doctor feels that your weight goals are extreme or unhealthy, don't ignore their advice. 12. Tell your doctor that you want to pursue a career in modeling. That way, they can work with you to create goals that don't jeopardize your Overall health. If you don't explain that you want to be a model and only discuss getting 
as thin as possible, your doctor may express concern about yourself. Image Keep in mind that having a model body may not be healthy for your height and body frame. Your health is much more important than conforming to unrealistic beauty standards. 2. Plan your meals ahead of time and prepare them yourself. It's much easier to stay on track if you have a meal plan for the week. Map out what you plan to have for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks every day. Prepare your food yourself so you will have full control over what goes into it. It might help to start a food journal so you can log everything you eat. 3. Learn to count calories and eat enough to support your physical needs. Models do have to watch what they eat, but they should never starve themselves. In fact, since they are training their bodies so hard, getting enough calories every day is crucial. Read food packages religiously and research how many calories are in your favorite foods. Factor in your gender, weight goals, and activity levels when figuring out how many calories you should be eating per meal. 13. You may want to consider hiring a professional dietitian if strict calorie counting is not something you want to do every day. A dietitian can help you come up with a meal plan so that your nutritional and caloric needs are being met. 4. Eat balanced meals that emphasize whole grains, protein, veggies, and fruit. For example, you might have one cup of scrambled eggs, one third cup of oatmeal, and half a banana. For breakfast one day. At lunch and dinner, you might have a chicken breast or tuna, a fresh veggie salad, and a piece of fruit. Aim for two nutritious, low-fat snacks per day. 14. For example, you might snack on cottage cheese and fruit for one snack. And non-fat Greek yogurt with berries for the other snack. You can have unlimited veggies every day, so if you aren't feeling satisfied by your meal, try adding a few more veggies to your plate. 15. 5. Cut out sugary snacks, processed carbs, and empty calories. Packaged treats, like cookies and ice cream, will have to go. Sugar also wreaks havoc on your metabolism and health. Try to avoid empty calories and processed carbs and make every meal and snack as nutritious as possible. Some models are okay with allowing themselves one to two treats per week. Like a favorite dessert or cocktail. You can incorporate treats into your diet plan if you'd like. 6. Avoid most restaurants and all fast food chains. Unfortunately, models don't really have cheat days built into their diet plan. Strict adherence is pretty standard. Since you don't know exactly what's going into a meal, most restaurants are a no-go and if you do eat at a restaurant, you should ask lots of questions before ordering food. Fast food is essentially never going to be allowed. 16. If there's no way around going to a restaurant and nothing on the menu works with your diet plan, ask the server if you can order off-menu or customize your order. 7. Drink plenty of water to stay hydrated. Since you're training so hard almost every day, your body will need all of the moisture it can get to prevent dehydration. Keep a bottle of water on you at all times and sip on it throughout the day. 17. Coconut water is especially hydrating. Green juices are fine, but try to avoid substituting juice for water. Since juice has calories. If you love your fruit juices, consider adding water to them. 18. 
men should aim to drink around 15.5 cups, 3.7 liters, of fluids per day. Women need about 11.5 cups, 2.7 liters, of fluids daily. 19. Always bring water with you to your training sessions and take breaks. To hydrate every 20 minutes or so. 8. Set specific and realistic weight loss goals that you can track. Create well-defined. Short and long-term goals so you can track your progress accurately. It also helps to break up large goals into smaller, more attainable goals so that you don't feel overwhelmed. 20. For example, if you want to lose 15 pounds, 6.8 kilograms, in three months, break that down into smaller goals, like losing 5.7 pounds, 2.33.2 kilogram, per month. You could even break that down further and make it a goal to lose 1 2 pounds, 0 0.450.91 kilogram, per week. 21. Go with goals that are specific and measurable. For example, setting a goal to exercise more is not measurable. Aiming to ride your bike for half an hour three days a week is measurable. 9. Use activity and diet trackers to help you measure your progress. 22. There are many apps out there that can help you stay organized and motivated as you work toward your weight loss goals. These websites and apps can make it much easier to monitor physical activity and diet each day. They can also help you measure big picture goals as you work towards smaller goals. You can also check out activity trackers, which are typically worn on the wrist or waist. Take time to celebrate goals when you achieve them. 4. Example you might treat yourself to a spa day or a new outfit. When you achieve a goal. Expert Q&A Question I'm trying to gain muscle but I'm not seeing results. What am I doing? Wrong. Jason Whalen Certified Personal Trainer Expert Answer A big mistake a lot of people make is not understanding the importance of Recovery and calorie intake. Gaining muscle isn't just about exercise. You can work out every day as long as you want, but it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to break up fat or put on muscle faster. You have to also make sure you're taking in the proper amount of calories and giving your muscles enough time to recover. Not helpful 6 helpful 19. Question. Do I need to be beautiful to be a model? Community answer. I have honestly heard it is a lot better to be plain as a model. Plain individuals are able to work in a variety of areas in modeling, and it creates different looks each time. However, having confidence always brings out personal beauty. Not helpful 3 helpful 43. Question. Do I need to gain weight to get rid of marks and scars? Community answer. No, you do not. Regular moisturizing will make your skin appear more vibrant. And youthful. We gain marks and scars as we age, so just enjoy the lovely body. You have today. Not helpful to helpful 32. See more answers. Ask a question. How to be a hygienic teenage girl. Download article. Steps. Steps. Other sections. Tips and warnings. Things you all need. Related articles. References. Co-authored by Melissa Jantz. Last updated, the 13th of April, 2024 approved. Every teenage girl wants to be hygienic, 
but some girls don't know where to start. Read this article to learn how to be hygienic. Steps Download article 1. Shower, wash or bathe every day. Showering, washing or bathing keeps you clean and fresh smelling, so even if you don't feel like it, remember to clean your whole body every day. Make sure to wash your feet well and your armpits. 1. 2. Consider removing hair from your legs, face, armpits, or any other part of your body you think needs to be hairless to be hygienic. Body hair is not unhygienic, men have it, and a lot of them are hygienic. You don't have to shave to be hygienic. It is a very Personal thing, you should shave whenever you think it's time to and whatever you think. You should shave. Use shaving cream or soap, never try to shave without shaving cream. Or soap, as it can lead to irritation, nicks, and little red bumps, which you don't want. If you want any part of your body to be hairless, you can wax, thread, epilate, pluck or use. Hair Removal Creams You can apply oil to remove wax from skin. It helps to reduce the stickiness of wax. 3. Have good oral hygiene. Clean your teeth, use floss. Use mouthwash, see a dentist. Regularly. Keep your breath fresh. 2. 4. Consider wearing deodorant or antiperspirant every day. Smelling good does not make you hygienic, but, if you smell bad, you may have a hygiene issue. If you wash sweat from your body before it becomes stale and stinky, you can consider yourself hygienic. This is very practical though, using antiperspirant so you don't sweat. You can also wear perfume, eau de cologne, eau de toilette. Scented moisturizer or body spray to smell. Fragrant, this is optional. If you have asthma triggered by products, avoid these. Products. 3. 5. Wear clean clothes. There is no point in having a hygienic body if you dress in dirty clothes, it'll just make you stink and look unkempt. 6. Wash your hair whenever you feel that it's necessary. Washing your hair every day will strip your hair and scalp of the natural oils it needs to stay hydrated. Use shampoo made especially for your hair type and never skip conditioner. You can also straighten or curl if you want but the look of your hair has absolutely nothing to do with how clean you are. Four. 7. Trim your nails so that dirt does not build up under them. Do not bite, lick or pick at your nails. Nail polish is optional, but try not to paint your nails more than twice a month, as this can lead to the yellowing and weakening of your nails which whilst not unhygienic is unsightly. 8. Keep your face hygienic. Gentle soap and water and never going to bed with makeup on is enough to have a hygienic face. If you're interested in looking after the appearance of the skin on your face beyond hygiene you can use a cleanser recommended for your skin type. Put a small amount of face cleanser on your hands, about the size of a nickel, and rub some on your wet hands. Use a product that is gentle enough for your skin. Because something that's too strong will just dry the skin out and stimulate the oil glands to produce more oil, you're trying to remove oil and retain moisture at the same time. Do not use soap, it's too strong and can't be rinsed easily. Using your fingertips, massage the cleanser all over your face, removing any dirt and oil. Take 30 seconds or so, concentrating on first the 
hairline, then paying special attention to the T-zone, forehead, nose, and nostril area, then around the mouth and chin, then cheeks. Cleanse. The neck using upward strokes. You have oil glands behind your ears, so don't neglect that area. It's messy, but do it anyway. When you're 50, you will be glad you went to the trouble to help your mature skin look. It's best. Rinse your face with warm water and pat it dry with a soft towel. Moisturizer is a very good thing. You have just washed off dirt and oil. And a moisturizer will help keep the moisture in the surface cells, which promotes a more youthful looking complexion, plus it feels great. 9. Adopt healthy habits. Wash your hands before eating. 5. Don't pick your nose. Keep piercings clean. Don't pick scabs. Wash your hands after going to the toilet. Every single time. 6. Always use cover your mouth when you cover and always. Sneeze into a tissue or handkerchief. Never spit. Keep your body free of. Unhygienic substances. Change your clothes whenever they become soiled. Expert Q&A. Ask a question. Submit. Tips. Always shower after exercise. Nobody likes the smell of sweat. Always brush your teeth and comb your hair at least twice a day. You don't want to look. Like a mess. Don't forget to thoroughly wash all of your conditioner out. If you don't it can lead to oily. Hair and residue. Show more tips. Tips from our readers. Take at least 2 minutes to brush your teeth, floss, and use mouthwash if you want to maintain healthy teeth. You don't want yellow teeth or bad breath. Shower at night if you're short on time in the mornings. You'll still be clean when you wake up and it saves time getting ready. Bring deodorant or perfume with you so you can freshen up if needed during the day. It's good to have on hand at school or work. If you want to maintain long nails then make sure to clean underneath them with a nail brush and trim or file as needed. Wash your sheets and pillowcases regularly to keep them fresh and free of dirt and oil build up from your body. If you get your period, bring an extra pad or tampon in your bag in case you need to change it while out. Submit a tip. All tip submissions are carefully reviewed before being published. Submit. Warnings. Don't use too much perfume, one or two sprays will do. By spraying in front of you two to three times and then walking through the spray three seconds later, you will have just the right amount of perfume on. Things you'll need. Nail care items, such as clippers, soap, clean clothes, a toothbrush and toothpaste, mouthwash, floss, deodorant with antiperspirant, shampoo, conditioner, how to look curvier as a skinny girl, download article, achieving a thicker silhouette with a slim body. Co-authored by Swad Garib. Last updated, the 27th of August, 2023 References. Choosing clothes. Clothing to avoid. Exercising. Expert Q&A. Tips. Having a slim figure is something many girls desire. However, if you are naturally skinny. At some point you have probably wondered how you'd look with a different figure. Perhaps you want to look like that curvy movie star or celebrity you admire. Fortunately, creating more curves can be as simple as getting dressed. Things you should know. Wear shapeui to accentuate your curves, and opt for shirts or blouses that add 
material to your torso, like peplum tops, boat necks, or cowl necks. Wear looser clothing to thicken your silhouette, like boot cut pants, flared skirts, or flowy dresses. Use exercise to fill out your figure. Perform squats to build your backside, and use chest weights to widen your torso. Method 1. Choosing the right clothes. Download article 1. Wear shape enhancing undergarments. You can easily create instant curves with underwear that doubles as shapewear. Push up and padded bras enhance the bust and give it a fuller appearance. Look for shapewear for the lower body that has padding in the hips or rear to create curves in those areas. 2. Choose flattering tops. The right shirt or blouse can add fullness to the bust and hip areas while minimizing your waistline so that you appear more curvy. Peplum tops are fitted at the waist, but flare out at the hip. These tops are an easy way to achieve curvier hips. 1. Boat neck and off the shoulder tops draw the eyes out and help create the illusion of an hourglass figure. 2. Tops with cowl necks or draping in front can add fullness to the bust area. 3. Corset style tops create an hourglass shape by accentuating the bust and hips while minimizing the waist. 4. 3. Wear a tailored jacket or blazer. Tailored jackets are cut to be more narrow at the waist. They help define the waist and create an hourglass shape. 5. For the best results. Wear the jacket over a more fitted top that isn't too bulky and button the jacket in the middle to nip in the waist. 4. Experiment with high-waisted bottoms. Pants, skirts, and shorts that come up higher. Tend to sit at the smallest part of the waist and make this area look smaller. In contrast, a smaller waistline makes the bust and hips appear fuller creating an hourglass figure. 5. Try boot-cut jeans or pants. Pants and jeans that flare out at the bottom create fullness and help minimize a too slim appearance. 6. Detailing on the back pockets, like sequins or embroidery, can also create a fuller-looking backside. 7. 6. Stick to flared skirts and dresses. Fuller skirts and dresses that flare out from the waist can help create the impression of curvier hips. Details like pleating are another way to add fullness to the hips. 7. Wear a wrap dress. Wrap dresses tend to make the waist look smaller, which makes the chest and hip areas appear larger. Eight. This is another great way of creating a curvier appearance. 8. Try an illusion dress. Illusion dresses are usually a light or bright color in the front, with darker colors on the sides. This color scheme is sometimes also referred to as color blocking. 9. The dark panels of color on the side will draw the eye in toward the middle and help create the look of an hourglass. 9. Add a belt. Wearing a belt at the natural waist is a great way to create a curvier appearance. The belt will highlight your small waist and make your chest and hip areas appear fuller by comparison. Skinny belts work best to minimize the waistline and create an hourglass shape. Experiment with wearing a belt over everything from a dress to a slim fitting sweater or tunic top. Method 2. Avoiding the wrong clothes. Download article 1. Avoid baggy clothing. Baggy clothes are generally not flattering on any figure. They 
might partially hide a slim figure, but they will not create a curvier appearance. 2. Skip batwing and kimono style tops. The longer, full sleeves on these shirts can overwhelm a slim figure. They also draw the eyes away from the bust and waist, making it difficult to achieve an hourglass look. 3. Pass on tube tops. Tube tops draw attention to the chest. If you consider yours to be small, a tube top will make that more obvious. 4. Say no to spaghetti straps. Tops and dresses with skinny spaghetti straps tend to emphasize the chest area. If you aren't as curvy as you'd like, the spaghetti straps will only highlight that. 5. Avoid pencil skirts. Pencil skirts are slim fitting and become more narrow at the bottom. These skirts can make you appear more slim when you are trying to achieve the opposite effect. 6. Wear skinny jeans or leggings with caution. Whether you have slim legs or thicker ones, skinny pants will make that more obvious. 10. If your legs are on the slim side and you want to appear curvier, skinny jeans and leggings might not be the way to go. Method. 3. Exercising to create curves. Download article. 1. Add squats to your workout. Squats are an excellent exercise for building up the backside and helping you fill out those skinny jeans. 11. 12. 2. Do incline chest exercises. On an incline bench, you can use a dumbbells or a bar with Weights to target the upper chest area. While you will not grow more breast tissue, you can build up the muscles behind the breast tissue and make the chest appear larger. 13. 3. Target your waist with exercises for your obliques. The oblique muscles are located at the side of your abdominals. When you perform crisscross or bicycle, Crunches and other exercises that target the obliques, you can achieve a smaller waistline. A smaller waist helps create an hourglass appearance. 14. Expert Q&A Question What workouts help enhance curves? Swad Garib Women's Exercise Specialist Expert Answer Lifting weights builds lean muscle mass, which can help accentuate your curves. You can also focus on hip thrusts, squats, lunges, and deadlifts to help build your glutes. Not helpful to helpful 15. Question. How do I gain weight? Community answer. Eat carb-dense foods, like bread, and protein-rich food, like turkey. These will add more fat to your body, and with a good exercise routine, this will help. Not helpful 9 helpful 44. Question. How do I get a more curvy appearance without getting a big stomach? Community answer. In order to do that, you will have to exercise, get plastic surgery, or wear shaping. Undergarments. For exercises, do squats and push-ups to target the bum and chest. I don't recommend plastic surgery. Try wearing a push-up bra and padded underwear. Not helpful 29 helpful 34. See more answers. Ask a question. Submit. Tips. Dresses and tops with fun. Bright prints or abstract designs add visual interest and can help your figure look less slim. 15. If you choose to create curves through exercise, work with a trainer or coach who can teach you proper form. Using clothing to add fullness to the chest and hip areas, while minimizing the waistline.
is an easy way to create the illusion of an hourglass figure. The best ways to stop feeling scared. When you're home alone. Download article. Helpful advice for kids and adults to overcome fear. Co-authored by Saul Jiga, MS and Hunter Rising. Last updated, the 22nd of July, 2024 Fact Checked. Ways to feel safe while home alone. Why are you afraid of staying alone at home? Video. Expert Q&A. It's a normal and common occurrence to get scared when you're alone at home, and we understand how you're feeling. Distracting yourself with a fun activity, chatting with a friend, or exercising are just a few simple tricks to get rid of any stress. Keep reading to learn the best and quickest ways to ease your fears when you're home alone. Plus, we'll help you understand why you're feeling afraid in the first place. Ways to feel safe while home alone. Download article. 1. Do a fun activity to distract yourself. If you're scared to be alone and are caught in a loop of anxious thoughts, do something that you enjoy to take your mind off of it. Having fun and changing your mindset to do an activity that you're looking forward to can break that anxious cycle and make you feel more comfortable. Some fun activities you could try include 1. Watching a movie or reading a book, as long as they're not scary. Blasting your favorite music and dancing alone. Playing a video game you've been waiting to try. Doing arts and crafts. Cuddling with your pets. 2. Call and chat with a friend or family member. If you don't want to feel like you're alone when you're home, don't be afraid to pick up the phone and reach out to someone you like talking to. Let them know that you're feeling a little stressed and just Want to have a casual conversation to take your mind off of any fears you have. Just talking with a friend or family member when you're feeling stressed or anxious can help. You feel more relaxed and safe. 2. If you know you're going to be home alone later, let a friend or family member know that you may call them if you get scared. That way, they'll be expecting you if their phone rings. Try calling someone you haven't talked to in a while, and use the time to catch up with them. If you want to see the other person you're talking to, try video calling. Using FaceTime or Skype instead of chatting on the phone. You may hold conversations over text or an instant messenger, but it May be more comforting to hear a friendly voice on the other end of the line. 3. Complete a productive task that needs to get done. Rather than letting your fears get the best of you, work toward a goal that you want or need to accomplish. If there are any chores, assignments, or other tasks that you've been putting off, channel your energy toward them so you're not feeling as frightened or anxious about being home alone. 3. If you're behind on homework assignments or school projects, completing them while you have some peace and quiet at home may help you concentrate. Do some chores you may have been putting off while washing dirty. Dishes or organizing your room may have felt like busy work before, it may actually be calming if you're feeling anxious. Get a head start on any personal goals or projects. Now could be a good time to start writing a story idea that's been bouncing around in your head or building a personal website to showcase the work you've done. 4. Try exercising to burn away stress and anxiety. When you're physically active, your body releases endorphins that can help you relieve the fight or flight feeling you get when you're stressed or afraid. 
When you're home alone and feeling a little on edge, try getting active with a quick workout and see if you feel more relaxed when you're finished. 4. Any workout will do, so use any at-home gym equipment you have. You could also do something like push-ups, sit-ups, or running up and down the stairs if you don't have any workout gear. If you feel short of breath, take a quick break to recoup your energy so you don't overexert yourself. Avoid exercises with excessive weights, such as squats or bench presses. Since you don't have someone to spot and assist you if you're unable to lift them on your own. 5. Practice deep breathing. When you're starting to feel really nervous or on edge, when you're home alone, simply breathing can help release tension and ground you in reality. Doing breathing exercises helps you catch your breath so you don't hyperventilate or feel anxious. To practice taking slow, deep breaths, 5. Sit up straight, and place one hand on your chest and the other on your stomach. Slowly inhale through your nose while you count to four. Breathe using your diaphragm so that the hand on your chest barely moves and the one on your stomach rises. Hold your breath to a count of seven. Slowly exhale through your mouth as you count to eight. Keep taking deep breaths in and out for about five minutes so you feel calm and relaxed when you're finished. 6. Visualize a calming or funny scenario. Rather than letting your imagination run wild and scare you with anxious thoughts while you're home alone, try to redirect it toward relaxing or funny imagery that lightens the mood. When you fight your fears with visualization, the light, fun, and uplifting thoughts make it a lot easier to stay calm and Feel less worried when you're by yourself. 6. Try to remember the funniest moment from your life, or even your favorite movie or TV show so you can laugh away the stress. Picture a serene beach or quiet forest where you feel calm and relaxed. Try to visualize all of the sights, smells, and sounds to immerse yourself in the moment. 7. Lock the doors and windows. Go through your home, and double check that all. The doors and windows are locked around your home. Just knowing that all of the entrances and windows are secure will make you feel less worried about potential intruders getting inside. 7. Keep your curtains or blinds closed so you don't feel afraid of being watched while you're home alone. Only answer or open the door for people that you're expecting or people that your parents have given permission to have over. If there's a stranger at the door, don't open it. 8. Mima eyes phone numbers for emergency contacts and services. Make a list of anyone you may contact in case of a non-threatening emergency, like family members, friends or neighbors. Then, be sure to memorize the contact info for any emergency services you may need to contact. In the United States, simply dialing 911 will connect you with police, firefighters, or medical assistance. However, it never hurts to have the direct number to the local police station or fire. Station so you can call emergency services nearby. 8. Call 1-800-222-1222 for poison control in case you accidentally spill or swallow something potentially toxic. If you have pets, keep the number of your vet and an emergency 24. Our veterinary office on hand as well. 9. Let a neighbor know you'll be home alone. When you know that you'll be home alone, reach out to one of your neighbors that you trust and tell them your 
situation. Tell them that you're feeling a little nervous about being by yourself, and ask if you can contact them in case of an emergency. That way, even if you're alone inside your home, you have someone nearby who can help out or keep an eye on you in case of trouble. It may be nice to ask your neighbor to check in with you while you're home alone, either on the phone or by stopping by. If you're young and don't know your neighbors very well, you could also have your parents inform your neighbors or some of their friends who live nearby. 10. Question anxious thoughts to see if they're realistic. When you're feeling afraid or nervous, it's normal for your mind to play tricks on you and assume the worst is going to happen. Rather than following that train of thought, really ask yourself if what you're perceiving is actually happening and if the worst case scenario is something you should really worry about. Question any thoughts you have that seem irrational, and look for logical explanations instead of jumping to conclusions. 9. Example, if you hear a strange noise, take a deep breath and think of potential causes. It could be an AC unit or furnace turning on, a pet knocking something over, or a strong wind blowing against your home. Example, if you're afraid of the dark, try to imagine the worst case scenario, such as the power going out. Then, brainstorm solutions right away, like keeping a flashlight nearby, so you have a plan of action and feel more prepared. 11. Make a plan for emergencies. Being prepared can help you feel safer when you're at home. Talk to your parents or other members of your household about a game. Plan in the event something goes wrong and what steps you need to take. Things to consider for your emergency plan include 10. Who to call in case of an emergency. Where to go if you need to evacuate. Where to hide in case of a break-in. How to shelter in place if there are any natural disasters. Practice safety drills with your family or other members of your household so you feel even more prepared when you're home alone. Why are you afraid of staying alone at home? Download article. 1. Phobia of burglary or break-ins As you grow up and learn more about the world, you may develop a more prevalent fear of someone getting into your home. Even if you haven't experienced a break-in or burglary before, it's a really common fear to develop that may stick with you as you get older. 11. 2. Learned fears from others Learned fears are when other people are scared of something and you develop the same phobia. If you have overprotective family members or people close to you also talk about how and why they're scared of being home alone, it's really easy for them to rub off on you. 12. 3. Past anxiety or trauma If you had a negative experience while you've been home alone before, it's completely normal for you to be afraid of being by yourself when you're older. When you're put into a similar experience later in life, you may sense that something feels wrong or dangerous when you're alone even if there's nothing to worry about. 13. 4. OCD or anxiety disorder Someone with obsessive-compulsive disorder or Anxiety may have intrusive thoughts about their safety when they're home alone. And it may cause them to be afraid of something bad happening, like an accident. Or someone breaking in. Even if you do something to relieve yourself, the compulsions to question your safety may continue coming back. 14. If you have OCD or anxiety that's difficult to control, consider talking to a doctor to see if there are any medications you can take to help ease your feelings. 
Expert Q&A Question How can I feel safe when I'm home alone? Saul Jiga, MS Police Captain, Mountain View Police Department Expert Answer Make sure that you lock your doors and windows. If someone does knock on the door, know that you don't have to answer the door or let them in. Not helpful 14 helpful 130. Ask a question. Submit. Video. Read video transcript. Read a videos. Tips. Submit a tip. All tip submissions are carefully reviewed before being published. Youth. Youth dating. How to talk to a girl in class. Download article. Methods. 1. Breaking the ice. 2. Getting to know each other. 3. Developing a good relationship. Other sections. Expert Q&A. Tips and warnings. Related articles. References. Article summary. Co-authored by John Keegan. Last updated. The 19th of July, 2024 Fact Checked Talking to girls can be scary if you don't have a lot of practice. If there's a girl in one of your classes that you like a lot, or even just one you think is interesting, that you want to be friends with, you shouldn't be too nervous to talk to her. This article will tell you how. To break the ice with a girl by talking about the class you have in common, then get to know her and develop a good relationship with her, whether you just want to be friends or something more. Method 1. Breaking the ice Download article 1. Ask a small favor 1. The easiest way to begin a conversation with someone you want to talk to is to ask a favor. You don't know this person yet, so you don't know what you have in common. Asking a favor is a neutral way to enter into conversation without boring them with something they don't care about. Make sure it's a small favor that won't put her out. For example, ask to borrow a pen or read their class notes to see something you missed. If you don't have your textbook, ask to look on with her. That way, you can sit closer to her, too. 2. Ask a question about something the teacher said. Since you don't know her very well, yet, you might not know what she likes. The only thing you know for sure that you have in common is the class you're in with her. Even if you understood the class lecture perfectly, ask her to clarify something the teacher said. 2. As opposed to asking a favor, which can result in a very quick interaction, asking someone to explain something to you will probably result in a longer conversation. Keep the conversation going by asking follow-up questions. If she didn't understand either, Show solidarity. Let her know that you're in it together, and that you have something in common. 3. Make her laugh. 3. Girls love guys with a sense of humor, so try to make her laugh. 4. Make eye contact with her when somebody says something silly, or roll your eyes when the teacher assigns homework. Make sure you're not disrupting class or drawing the teacher's attention. Getting in trouble will not impress her. 4. Ask for her opinion on something related to class. You're looking for anything that begins a speaking relationship with her, so make her feel like you want to know what she has to say. Ask her something related to class, like what she thinks is going to be on the Next test, or how many hours she's planning on putting into preparation for a presentation. Don't talk over her when she gives her opinion. 
let her talk for as long as she wants, and show interest in what she has to say. 5. 5. Give her a compliment. Giving compliments is a lot trickier than it sounds. You may think who doesn't like getting a compliment, but you should always be respectful of girls when complimenting them. Always complimenting girls on how pretty they are. Sends the message that you only like them for their looks, and most girls don't like to be made to feel that way. 6. Compliment her on something she actually had to work for, rather than something she was born with. This might be related to her appearance or not. 7. Compliment her on her hairstyle on a particular day instead of her eyes. Compliment her on an outfit she put together. Tell her you liked her answer to a question in class. Congratulate her for doing well on a test if you see she got a good grade. 6. Choose the right time for your icebreaker. Don't bother her with questions or favors if you see that she's concentrating on something or she's late and has to run to her next class. If you have a class with her, you're going to see her every day, so wait for a time. When she seems relaxed and in a good mood to break the ice with her. Method 2. Getting to know each other. Download article. 1. Move the conversation away from the classroom. Since you know you have at least your class in common, that's a great way to start getting to know each other, by talking about the work, the teacher, your classmates, etc. But over time, you want to get to know other parts of each other, too, so talk about things that have nothing to do with class, or even school. 2. Have a friendly, approachable demeanor. Don't try too hard to be cool. What you think looks cool might come off as distant or condescending. It's much easier for a girl to talk to a guy who's just being himself, open and honest. 8. Smile and laugh easily, girls love guys who enjoy themselves. Face your body toward her when you're speaking to her. Don't be afraid to make eye contact with her when you're talking. 9. 3. Find out what she's interested in. Once you've broken the ice, you want to get to know each other. Try to find out what she's interested in. Ask what her favorite classes are. Whether she does any after-school activities, and what she likes to do in her spare time. 10. Try to steer conversations toward topics that interest her. This will make her look forward to talking to you, since she'll know you. Enjoy listening to her talk about something she loves. 4. Share your interests with her. You want her to get to know you, too, so talk about the things that are important to you. If you just let her talk about herself all the time, then eventually, you'll stop liking her because you'll feel like the friendship is all about her. It's important to maintain a balance, so you're both sharing parts of your life with each other. Equally, be open and honest. Don't just talk about the things you think she wants. To hear about, talk about the things that are actually important to you. 11. Use your discretion. There are some things that you shouldn't talk about with someone you don't know very well, so start with topics that are harmless and light. Try to keep a balance between how much you talk and how much she talks. 5. Get to know her friends. 12. The best way to spend time with someone is to have friends in common with her. Hanging out in a group with mutual friends will be less 
nerve-wracking than talking to each other one-on-one, -on -one, and you'll be more relaxed and at ease, making her like you more. People's friends are very important to them, so she'll like you more if she sees that you get along with her friends. Talk to her friends even when she's not around. You don't want people to think that you're using them just to get to a girl. Make real friendships with them, not hollow ones. If you like this girl, you'll probably like the people she chooses to surround herself with. 2. Method 3. Developing a good relationship Download article 1. Make plans for future conversations The best way to make sure you'll get to talk to her again is to make a plan about how you're going to do it. If you're talking during a set period of time, lunch break, for example, then you can say that you had something. You wanted to tell her that you'll tell her next time you talk. For example, say remind me to tell you about what Mr. Smith said in class last week. It was so funny. Tell her you'll see her at a different time, for example, I'll see you in English or are you eating lunch in the courtyard today? Ask her if she'll be at mutual social events, are you going to Becky's party this weekend? I can return your notes then. 2. Talk to her outside of the classroom. Sit with her at lunch, or talk to her between classes if you see her hanging out by her locker. The more she sees you and talks to you. Outside of the classroom context, the more she'll see you as a friend instead of just as a classmate. 3. Don't be overeager. You want to show interest in her, but you don't want her to think. You're stalking her. 13. Play it cool. Don't be around every single corner she turns. Try to get into a routine where you talk to her at the same times every day, for example. Between two particular classes, or at lunch, or before or after school. That way, you can be confident that you'll see her every day and not feel like you have to chase her around. From time to time. You might even skip talking to her for a day or two. Give her a little time to miss hanging out with you, and she'll look forward to your company even more. 4. Ask for her phone number. When you're talking to somebody outside of school, entirely, you're on your way to being more than just classmates. However, a good, neutral way to ask for somebody's number is to say that you want to ask a question about class. Use the number to ask questions about class at first, so she doesn't feel like you tricked her into giving you her phone number. Send text messages instead of calling her for a conversation. You won't be as nervous, and she won't feel as much pressure. After sending a couple texts about homework or due dates, begin sending messages every once in a while about annoying things your parents say, or something funny you saw at the mall. 5. Ask her to hang out with you outside of school. Depending on how old you are, your parents might not allow you to hang out with girls one-on-one, -on -one, but you should invite her to hang out in groups with mutual friends. If she's not close with your group of friends, invite some of her close friends as well. Make sure she feels comfortable accepting your invitation and hanging out. Choose a public place like the mall or the movies. Get some food, like pizza or burgers. Make sure to pay attention to her and talk to her, even though there are other people around. Expert Q&A Question How can I compliment a girl in class? David Cannell Z Dating Coach Expert Answer
say something nice about her hair or clothing. You could also say something nice about her smile or comment on something she did in class that was insightful or interesting. You don't have to do anything fancy or get crazy with it. A simple, straightforward compliment is always a good bet. Not helpful 8 helpful 5. Question. How can I make talk interesting with a girl? David Cannell Z. Dating coach. Expert answer. Push the conversation forward by asking her questions or sharing something. Interesting and giving her a chance to respond. Try to avoid one word answers. That put an end to conversation. When in doubt, tie the conversation back to whatever you're doing at the moment. If you're in class, ask a question about the material or say something about the teacher. Not helpful 1 helpful 7. Question. How do you flirt with a girl in class? David Cannell Z. Dating coach. Expert answer. If you're actively in class, smile. Make eye contact. Those little nonverbal communications can go a long way towards piquing her interest. If it's a group activity or something, just compliment her. Say something nice about her hair or clothing. Not helpful 3 helpful 7. How to have fun alone in your bedroom, girls only. Download article. Parts. 1. Entertaining the day away. 2. Taking care of business. 3. Planning for your future. Other sections. Tips and warnings. Related articles. References. Article summary. Co-authored by Rebecca Tenza, Matt, Ma, LCSW, CCTP, CGCS, CUTP, CCFP. Last updated, the 12th of April, 2024 references. Stuck in your room alone and looking for fun things to do. We've got you covered. Choose from all of the fun options we rounded up below, from giving yourself a Mackie over to having a solo movie marathon. Who says you can't have fun by yourself? Part 1. Entertaining the day away. Download article. 1. Create a new look for yourself. This is playtime so don't take yourself too serious. It is good for you. 1. If you want to decorate your face with dramatic makeup, paint your nails. Crazy colors, tease your hair 4 inches high, or try on every outfit you own, do it. There are no rights and wrongs to this Minamaki over. You are creating so anything goes. Mix and match different shoes with pants, skirts and sweaters that you haven't worn before. Take photos of the ones you really like. You never know, you might be a designer for women's and men's clothing someday. You won't know. Unless you explore. Paint each fingernail and toenail a different color. If you like it, keep it. That way. If you don't, you can always use nail polish remover to start. Over. 2. Put on a one-girl show. Gather up a cast of characters including stuffed animals, or stray plastic army men and set up a scene. You get to make up the words that everyone says and the costumes, and direct the show. Create new songs for the soundtrack to your show or use your favorite tunes. It's all up to you. It's your show. 2. Start your story by saying, once upon a time there was a girl who spent time in her room. If you get stuck say, and now we are going to take a commercial break. Use the break time to come up with other ideas by asking your stuffed 
animals for input. If you're comfortable with it, video your show and watch it. You may want to keep it or delete it. Either way, it will be fun. 3. Exercise. You might be in your room, but that doesn't have to stop you from being active. This is your space so make the most of it. A little activity might be just what you need to. Shake off the stress you've been feeling. If you enjoy a more relaxing type of exercise try yoga or meditation. 3. If you want to get your heart rate up, put on some music and dance. 4. Pretend you are a Zumba instructor and your stuffed animals are your students. If it's okay with your parents, bounce on your bed as long as it is safe. 4. Write stories or poetry. Many girls and women keep a journal and write in it every day. 5. Others write poems or stories that may or may not get published. Stories. Whether they are made up or are true, make life more entertaining. You might be fantastic at writing happy, funny, sad, or scary stories, but you won't know unless you try. You can keep your stories to yourself if you want them to be private. If you want to share your stories, make sure you share them with someone you trust and who cares about you. 5. Catch up on the movies you want to watch. Do you have a list of movies you've been meaning to watch? Even if you've seen your favorite movie 100 times, you may want to watch it again. There are benefits to watching movies, so turn on the TV or mobile device and stream away. 6. After you watch a movie write down what you liked about it and what you didn't. Next time you talk to a friend or family member you can discuss it. You may want to binge watch a few episodes of a TV series you heard about. 6. Read some magazines to get up to date on trends. Magazines provide a glimpse into what is popular in the news, fashion, sports, and just about any subject. Pick magazines that cover your interests, and include some new ones that might expose you to new and exciting topics. Try Cosmo Girl, Seventeen, Astro Girl, etc. If you are interested in musical artists, sports figures or scientists, there are magazines available. Part 2. Taking care of business. Download article. 1. Catch up on sleep. Most growing girls need a lot of energy to get through the day. Sometimes it's fun to set everything aside and take a good long nap. Without proper rest, you can't expect yourself to be your best. The average person functions well on 7 to 8 hours of sleep a night. 7. If you enjoy napping in your cozy bed, do it. Invite all your stuffed animal friends to join you. Sleep is healing for your body, so get as much as you need. 2. Redecorate your room. It can be a small improvement or complete makeover. Even moving your furniture around might be fun to create a new look. A change in your living area can be fun, healthy and energizing. If you've got the paint and drop cloths and approval from your parents, paint your room. This takes planning so make sure to make a plan. Before you start, exchange old posters for new ones. This will give you something new to look at, which will make you feel like it's a new room. A new bedspread, or pillows can spruce up the room. Open up your window coverings and let the natural light in, which is healthy and helps you to see your room in a different light. 8. 3. Clean your room. 
Most people don't enjoy cleaning their room, but they enjoy having a clean room. Cleaning your room will result in a more organized, peaceful feeling. 9. If you have a lot of disruptions and difficulties in your life, cleaning your room will soothe some of the struggles. Focus on the fun feeling you will have once the room is clean. Listen to music while you clean. It will distract you and make time pass quickly. Your room will be clean before you realize it. If you clean your room without being asked, it will win you points with your parents. 4. Organize your closet. You've probably got shoes, clothing or toys in your closet that you haven't worn or played with in a while. The fun comes when you get to donate them to a charity of your choice. 10. Consider charities that help children. Your generosity will help someone have fun too. If you haven't worn something in a year, consider donating it. Hang lavender-filled sachets in your closet to freshen it. 5. Pick outfits for the upcoming week. If you hate taking time in the morning to pick out what you are going to wear that day, then lay out the outfits ahead of time. Start with one. And get inspired. You may have created a new look earlier in the day and believe it is worthy to be seen at school. Choosing outfits ahead of time will save you time and effort, and allow for more sleep in the morning. You will know what items need to be washed to ensure you can complete your outfit idea. Part 3. Planning for your future. Download article. 1. Investigate colleges. There are so many colleges in the world, and you will eventually need to choose one. 11. That time will be here before you know it, so it would be fun to learn about the ones that might interest you. There are fun and interesting things to learn including where they are located, what special programs they offer, and what the student population is like. Attending college is one of the hardest, but most fun and memorable times of your life. Making a good choice is directly related to your success and happiness. Scholarships and grants are available to pay for part or all of your college expense. Identifying financial support for college is possible. 12. 2. Learn about careers. You can dream about what you want to be when you grow up, or actually learn what it takes. 13. The more you know about various careers, the more Informed you will be about pursuing the education and jobs that will lead you to your eventual goal. If you want to be a doctor determine what classes you would need to take, how long it will take you to become one, and how your efforts will impact the world. Call a person who performs the job that you would like and ask her a list of questions you've prepared. You can start the conversation by saying, Hello, my name is underscore 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 and I'm thinking about becoming a underscore 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 underscore. Ah. There any words of wisdom you can give me? This will start the conversation. People spend approximately 50 years of their life working. It is crucial. For you to find fun and fulfilling work. 14. 3. Read about what it takes to buy a house. Owning real estate is a common goal for a lot of people. 15. Wouldn't it be fun to find out what it takes to buy your dream home? Explore areas where you might want to live. Determine what the average price of a home might be. How much money would you need to make the purchase? Set a long-range goal to purchase a house. Once you know what it takes, 
to buy one, you can focus your career and financial efforts toward that goal. You will find that most people start with small properties. Make sure that you can not only afford the payments, but also be able to consistently live within the required budget. If you don't have money to have any fun, then you need to consider a smaller property. 4. Identify women in history that made a difference. It could be fun to use your loan. Time to study the achievements and personal qualities of women who have had great success in their lives. Wouldn't it be fun to find a mentor or role model who could help and guide you? 16. You don't have to copy everything a person does, but instead look for the ways in which she struggled and failed and then bounced back to achieve success. Tenacity, self-reliance and resourcefulness are qualities to admire and develop in yourself. 17. Success can be fun. 5. Make a homework schedule for the upcoming week. You might be spending the day in your room, but you're going to be spending the next week at school. Organizing the week ahead will help manage the stress of upcoming tests, reports and projects. Seeing the demands of the week on paper alleviates some of the pressure and uncertainty you might be feeling. Schedule the time necessary for each item. It's a great feeling when you make it through the week feeling organized and accomplished, which nurtures your motivation to learn at school. Don't forget to schedule some fun time for yourself. It's important to have fun to maintain balance and a positive outlook about school. Expert Q&A Ask a question Tips Explore all your options and do new and exciting things. You won't know what you like unless you try it. Self-contemplation is crucial to your development. Alone time is necessary. Make a list of all the things you love to do. It will remind you of all the potentially fun days ahead.